The prosecution has now rested in the Gabrielle Nastandi trial. Today, the crash that killed Courtney Griffin was recreated for the jury to see. Nastandi's attorneys have tried to say the street was poorly lit and Griffin's clothing was too dark to see, but experts testified otherwise. Chris Sadegi has more on what those experts had to say. Well, Leslie, a reconstructionist went out and tried to duplicate the exact scene as it was the night of the accident, and he determined that a sober driver would have been able to see Courtney Griffin from more than 400 feet away. Last September, Leonard Vaughn waited until the moonlight cycle was the same as it was the night of the accident. He got in a 2012 BMW, and he dressed a model in the same colored clothing that Courtney Griffin was in the night of the accident, and he said from 411 feet away, he could see the model and had plenty of time to either stop or take evasive action. The defense attorneys and their own expert attacked that recreation, saying height differences between he and Nastande, along with headlight differences on the car models, would skew results. The whole trial, the defense has tried to argue Griffin may have been in the roadway, but Vaughn thinks she was in the bike lane. Sorry. You hear people talk about it as kind of an eerie thing that why are they right, that's right where they were standing, why are their shoes there? And typically, they're, they're, when they're hit from the rear, they're pulled straight away more than from the side or something like that. But typically, from the rear, to pull them right out of their shoes. And after that witness, the prosecution rested their case. Now it's the defense's turn. The judge did tell the jury they expect, up, expect to wrap up all evidence by the end of tomorrow. It remains to be seen if the defense will call Gabrielle Nastandi to the stand like they said they would during their opening arguments. We're live at the Travis County Justice Complex. Chris Sadegi, KXAN News.